Good morning, and you find me now outside Completely Bottle Bikes in Gloucester, just outside Gloucester, and we're going to go for a spin on the Kawasaki Ninja ZX4RR, Kawasaki's little four-cylinder 400cc screamer, and uh, yeah, this will be a bit of an experience. Last time, I can't remember last time I rode a 400cc four-cylinder motorbike. Might have been in the early 2000s. <laughs> get on it. One thing that I thought was a nice touch back here before I get started is that you've got uh, little hooks for bungees or rock straps, as well as the uh, hooks down here by the uh, pillion pegs for strapping things on. I just thought it was quite handy. Pillion grab strap as well. And we get to the main event. Now, uh, we've got basically some buttons down here. Also a lap timing screen, which I don't know how to access. It'd be pretty awesome. But uh, I'm gonna press down here, cycle through these bottom uh, statistics here. Battery, miles per gallon, range. Yeah, I think I need to get some fuel. Let's start it up as well. Top button trip meters, odometer. Hold these buttons down to switch to riding modes. Sport, road, rain, and uh, user configurable. Now, got to do a quick uh, tight turn here. So what's the steering lock like? Oh, steering lock's good. <laughs> I was expecting to run out of lock a bit sooner than that, but that is pretty decent amount of lock. So first impressions while I go to the petrol station and <laughs> get some fuel. Now, despite the name ZX4RR, it's not as extreme as you might think. If you're interested in this bike, you probably have been following the information surrounding its release. So it's not like the 400 cc's of the, the 1980s and the 1990s not as crazy as those machines and uh, yeah first impressions are the riding position although you are leaning forward uh, significantly it's not overly sporty there are many many sportier motorbikes I think out there when it comes to ergonomics so here I am at 20 miles an hour in second 4,000 four and a half thousand rpm do we accelerate <laughs> Stop. Yes, we do. Shall we just hear that again? I will try and let it sing properly uh, when I get the chance. We haven't talked about specs yet, but uh, front brakes on monoblock radial brakes. And the power of those brakes, very good front brakes, I think. For a relatively lightweight bike, it doesn't feel lightweight, especially. And what I mean by that is it feels stable. It feels grown up. It doesn't feel like a toy. Suspension's doing well as well. That's actually pretty uh, compliant. These roads are not the best around here, but I do feel damping. It is soaking up the bumps. I've got to say, I was a little disappointed to see that the, the front suspension was only preload adjustable. Right there. But uh, the rear shock is actually fully adjustable for preload compression and rebound. So you want to be racers can uh, kind of uh, tweak away with the with the rear shock. Fairing's doing a decent job here as well. There's a reasonable amount of uh, wind pressure on my chest, but it's not too loud, and there's no turbulence at all for the crash helmet. Quite like that.
<laughs> that noise. Wow, that is that is fantastic. Now you do have to bear in mind, I am 50 years old and used to calmer motorcycles. <laughs> but yeah, for enjoyable riding around back roads like these, I'm probably two gears higher than I should be. I'm going to give it a bit more aggro in second gear. The engine, noise, and the brakes together, what a combo. And although it does sound, from the rider's seat, it sounds really loud, but I imagine for passers-by, it's not as loud, because I think a lot of this noise is in the airbox, or what they've done to tune the induction for the noise kind of rattling around inside the fairing here. What a great idea this bike is. You know, it sounds like a world superbike, essentially. It sounds like a four-cylinder screamer. But you're not going ballistic miles an hour. It's manageable. You know, with the way the scenery is coming at you, it's not coming at you too quickly. It's not overwhelming you. But it's making amazing noises, like you are doing 150 miles an hour genius on the part of Kawasaki. Well done for putting this out. Quick shift is good. Behaving really well on the upshift. On the downshift, as it was explained to me, you've got to be off the throttle before they'll let you do a downshift, typically. If you try and do it with some throttle applied, uh, I don't think it'll let you. So don't be too surprised. Just wait for a, a gap in the road and I think I'll try and overtake if the opportunity presents itself. And it does. Now I don't have the bike for long, so I've had to come up with just a little loop get me around and back to the shop. So not a lot of time for fast flowing roads, sadly, but the sound this bike makes when you use it properly, <laughs> it's, it's uh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It's very addictive. Well, we're doing all right in town. Again, because the bike's quite compact, nothing's too far away. Unless you're maybe five foot four, <laughs> with short arms and legs. Maybe this will feel like a big bike then, but at five foot seven, with a 32 inch uh, inside leg or inseam, the bike feels small, but not too small. I'm soon to be getting a new bike, and by the time this video comes out, I probably will have it, and you'll know, if you follow my channel, that it's the BMW S1000XR. Another full set in the bike. But you won't be able to use it and you won't be able to get the noises out of it, anything like this, on the road without risking uh, life, limb and your driving licence. Let's just cruise along in sixth here and go smack, smack, smack through the gearbox with a quick shifter and go. One, two, three. <laughs> Fifth, fourth, first, second. <laughs> oh dear. The only blot, basically on the copybook for this bike, is this right hand is tingling. So there is uh, some vibrations getting from the right bar. For some reason, not the left bar. Not for me anyway. Um, but it's also an engine that's not got many miles on it yet. So that may improve in time. Can I come up with a meaningful conclusion after a short ride on this bike? Not really. Oh, there's that uh, steering lock again. Very good steering angle for a small, sporty bike. But, I can tell you, I've had an awful lot of fun. <laughs> and I want another go. 
Look at that bad boy. <laughs> That's a hell of a display. Yeah, you got lap timer. Well, I'll do for now. Take care of yourselves, and I'll speak to you soon. Ta-da.